All right, so it's Brian from the immediate future. I just recorded this episode of Metopia, and throughout the episode, I noticed that, like, my character uh, is acting very flamboyantly with the chef outfit, and there's, like, a, a flowery chef outfit, which I don't necessarily know, like, how that ended up happening. I didn't make a distinction that way or whatever. And then there's a couple of times where I'm like, oh, does the game think that, like, my gender is a girl or whatever, which doesn't necessarily mean like, oh, you have to be a girl to act like that certain sort of way. That's not the, the truth at all. But during the episode, I'm trying to figure out like what's happening here. But as far as I know, there isn't any given way to change the way that like the like the option right here, right? Like I look like I have like a flowery outfit, which is not reflective of what I, you know, wear in real life or anything. So I don't know what their what the distinction is between the the behaviors of me characters especially with one another and the relationships and like it seems like you build like relationships with some me's and like relationships with some me's so i don't know what the distinction is or how they end up calculating it i actually looked it up but i have no idea so that's just a preface for this episode here i'm rolling with it I'm cool with it. You should be too. Just wanted to say that out the gate. All right. So enjoy the rest of the episode. I went to boot up Metopia and there was like a little section above Mario and me where it was like a like a thought bubble. And then it like it said like, you know, oh, check up on them and see what's going on. And then I went over my character went over to put on a purple wig and then I came back, and then I saw this. So I think the game somehow, some way, thinks that, like, my character's a girl. Because apparently I like Mario. I don't know how that happened. June is Pride Month. We're gonna roll with it. All right. It's not reflective. I, I don't I don't like Paper Mario like that. That's not how I roll, but you know what? We're just going to roll with it. If there's a, a a section in which I can change my uh uh whatever, I will, but I'm not going to I'm not going to go out of my way. So so then there's like these two over I I, I don't know what happened. So whatever. I'm going to set off on the Metopia a little bit more. Again, I don't know where this purple wig came in. I don't know why I have the the preferences for being like like having the the purple wigs and all the like the the female like the hairdos, not that they're even female, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. My name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. I don't I don't know, man. But you know what? It's fine. It doesn't matter. I I am confident in who I am and I know that I am headstrong on on uh, being married to a beautiful woman one day, not Paper Mario, or any man for that matter. I, well, there's a monkey afoot or a something afoot. That's a Marin mouse. Oh, it's a mouse. It's a little yellow mouse with mushrooms. Oh boy. So I'm gonna see if just uh, holding down the B button is gonna let this entire sequence happen. I don't know when that change or what when that was because my the the ge the gender of my me is male on on the settings of the everything so i don't know when they decided like oh yes we're gonna we're gonna magically do that sprinkle a mysterious power to restore mp oh you've awakened a new power without mp your skills and magic won't be with much use to you you'll need to watch your mp gauge to win your battles all right sure you can use your mp sprinkles during any character's turn so it's just like the hp except with mp this time and it's usable for uh, magic-based, uh, not magic-based Pokemon, magic-based characters. So that's good. Now everybody's got the max HP and MP and all that. So I'm going to just anticipate auto-battling even more and going about my business. So today was filled with um, a whole lot of nothing. Today's uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday now that I'm recording this super late at night. But I was uh, trying to relax all day. I made the unfortunate mistake of not doing any laundry. And today was one of the hottest days we've had all year. It is currently, uh, what, what temperature outside? It is 68 degrees, so not too bad. But it's a very stale, 
uh, temperature outside, not a lot of like breeze or anything, so it's literally just 68 degrees of stale weather. And I, I did not wash any shorts. So here I am sitting in my office wearing sweatpants this entire time, so that's stellar. So cool, rescued 20 faces so far, at least 20 different things in general. Oh boy, oh boy. Had me worry there for a moment, I know, right? Uh, Mr. Mario gained a level. Or maybe Mr. No, Mr. Mario's definitely not a, well, maybe, I don't know. Leo gained a level. It, you're, you're never, who gets bonus XP? Ah, uh, Red can get it, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know how they, they designate who's a, who's a what's it there. You know, you just, all you do is you accept characters and people for who they are. And that's all you do, man, you know? Um, all right, so. So, like, if I check on the team here, you can swap people around. So, let's say I swap over Red and put Red in lieu of uh, Mr. Mario. Because there's no dynamic here. Leo has no dynamic with anyone. So, if I break us two apart, it should help the dynamics with, with everything else overall. I also got three tickets, so that's cool. I'll use one of them on the fancy schmancy roulette here, and I get a thing there, the Jelly John tickets. Oh, also what I realized from uh, last time, passport, money, clean undies, selfie stick. Come on, let's go already, what? Oh, they're going on a vacation in the middle of the adventure where uh, every character has lost their face. That's great. A pair of them enjoyed their trip together. Going on a vacation with friends is very stressful. Well, it can be. It's not necessarily, but... Oh, that, that did a lot of growth. All right, cool. It not necessarily is, but we are acquainted. Okay. So then we're showing off together. Uh, impress. Okay. So you, you want to build uh, the dynamic between all your different characters as often as you can so they can work better together, you know? So let's see. For, uh, for me, I'm going to go with... Why does it have roses on it? I don't want roses on my my thing. That looks like the Scarecrow from Batman. All right, uh, I'll go with the bronze sword for you so your your HP, or rather your damage gets up a, a lot better there. There we go. Bronze sword, I will equip that as well. Nice. So uh, yeah, today was kind of full of a whole lot of nothing, which um, I'm kind of okay with. Uh, the most eventful part of my day was trying to not sweat profusely because of the uh, the nice weather outside and me not having any actual shorts. So that's good. Or it should be good. There's no AC on right now. It's just me, uh, you know, being here and doing the thing. Uh, I'm going to go up toward this way because I see a treasure chest and that looks pretty appealing. But overall, yeah, today I didn't really do a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I got a, a buffalo chicken pizza for dinner. Which was incredibly filling. Uh, I'm gonna go this way because there's a chest over there. Why wouldn't I go over there? Uh, and it was excellent. It, I can't believe how good it actually was. I was overwhelmingly surprised at how good it was. Uh, got an MP candy, cool. And that was basically the highlight of my day. I tried booting up my PlayStation 5 to play some Rocket League because I wanted to, like, you know, get my skills back up to par, kind of. And I did that, and it was like, hey, uh, you didn't shut down the PlayStation 5 properly last time. What are we doing here, chief? I'm like, what? What do you mean? And then it did the thing where it, it booted up, and then as soon as it went to the home menu, everything froze. And it kept doing it over and over and over again. So I had to, like, boot it into safe mode and do all these different things. I got butterfly honey. I don't know how. Whatever. Sure. Found another in. Great. Whatever. Um, did all that, and it ended up working out just fine. But still, it was just not, uh, not what I wanted to deal with in that moment, you know what I mean? So, oh, Leo wants some leather gear. All right, if you want to rock some leather, go for it, Leo, all right. Um, I'm going to be adding more codes in the next uh, episode, by the way. Uh, a few more people have given me their codes. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to keep with the red aesthetic there for Leo because that makes the most sense out of anything else. Um, so, yeah, I, I did that and I played some Rocket League. It's actually pretty good. That is one of the few games that I feel like I can be uh, relatively good at consistently. Uh, I can kind of hold my own kind of sort of no matter what. 
So I'm very happy about that. Uh, it looks like, yeah, you definitely do not like that. So I will not bother you with that whatsoever. No, that's super. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess you love that. You hate that. Let's go with something for Leo over here. You don't really care for it at all. All right. Well, just like with life, you know, sometimes y y you see some things and you're like, yeah, cool. I'm thinking I'm not going to like that, but then you end up loving it and then it's fine. You know, food or otherwise, that's that's all about what life is all about. You know what I mean? Um, and I cannot... Wait, can I go here? I can't enter here. So wait, can I go back to like this area? No, hold on, wait. This area... Oh, there's all different pathways. Right. Ah, oh, yes, I remember hearing that. So you can choose to go multiple different ways and unlock different paths that, that get different things. But what implication will that have for the very finale of the game? I have no idea. And there's a copper wand in there. That red got. All right. Cool. I'm on top of the world. Hey, I'm on top of the world. Um, also, what I noticed about this game, comparing it to the 3DS game, is I looked up a little bit about what each of the games, what, what the differences are. The So the first Nintendo 3DS game had the mode where you could speed things up relatively quickly. But this is a lot more quickly here. Like, a lot more. So, yeah. The game kind of does play itself, and you're holding down the B button pretty much the entire time. So, I don't know how how fast this game is going to be. Also, what I didn't realize, two things. One, Ratchet & Clank on the PlayStation 5 comes out in, in, like, June. No idea that was happening. Secondly, Mario Tennis comes out in July. It's crazy stuff, man. Time's flying. Why would I not want to continue playing? I've been playing for like 20 minutes. All right. So you see these bubbles over here? Check on the team. You can go check over here, but you can also do this. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's agree on some ground rules. Es establish some boundaries here. Okay. We should always keep the room clean. Yes, definitely. All right. We should always keep the inn clean. Okay, sure. We should always keep the entire world clean. You lost me. Uh-oh. Keeping the world clean is just not where it's going to be at. All right. That's fine. So the hearts go up and then we are acquainted. So like, are we friends? Are we more than, fr more than friends? Is that the million dollar question at any given point? What is this relationship? What are we? Are we even we? What am I to you? Just be honest with me. <laughs> You look like you're up for a game of rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to look up actually right now. Is there a way for me to win Metopia? Metopia, rock, paper, scissors. There's got to be a way for me to win. How to win. All right. Let's see. Uh, yep, there is a way for you to win. According to the strategy, the robot will choose one of three gestures. If he points his finger upward, the player should choose the weakness of whatever they won the last round with. Right, that makes sense. Okay. If he instead balls his hand up into a fist, the theory posts that the player should choose the same hand they won with the last round with. Finally, if he curls his finger, they should choose the strength of whatever they won with the last round. All right, so let's test this theory. Let's test it out right here. All right? So come on then. Yep. So he's got this. If he balls his hand up into a fist... The player should choose the same hand they won the last round with. Well, this is none. So, I'm gonna go with that. Ah! Oh! Okay. Uh, scissors? No, I lost. What do you mean? I choose... I, that's what I chose the last round with. Okay. Let me try one more time. Yes. Okay. So, here. One more time. So, I chose scissors last time. This, this, hey, thanks a lot, Game Rant. You're liars. W nothing. I'm done. Goodbye. Yeah, no, nothing like that. All right, so clearly, clearly got some work to do. All right, so I'm going to set off, get set off, of course, with my rantings and ramblings about apparently me and Mr. Mario having some sort of dynamic me being betrayed by Game Rant. It's always a great time. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go for as many different routes as I can, but I'm not going to like... Oh, it's like a like a different way over here. Okay. 
So like, I'm not gonna do every single route of every single area, but I'm gonna go as far as I can and just see, you know, just see what kind of happens here. Oh yeah, I'm on fire. I thought you'd say that. He's not physically on fire, but you know, that's good. Um, but yeah, you're, you're holding down the B button, that's it. Ooh, you are a banshee. Okay. Oh, by the way, stink bugs still out in full force. There was one crawling on my arm and I, I yeeted it over toward that way. And the way that I know that they're still here is I'll be doing stuff over here and I they're so stupid. Bugs are dumb. I'll, I'll hear them smack on, they'll just be like, like smack onto the floor, you know? So like when they smack onto the floor though, they pretty much die. Because they, 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 they just launch themselves into the floor, and that causes them... Oh, I need to sprinkle some life back into me. All right, cool. Nice. Uh, that was probably a rigged battle, because that's kind of how those things go. Uh, MP, I'm going to go with this. There we go. Um, I'm going to just auto-battle again. So, they basically die when they hit the floor, so then they release the stink smell. And the stink smell... It, if it lingers on you, they're more attracted to that smell, whatever that smell may be. So here I am, just trying to live my best life, as I always do, playing Metopia, etc. And then all these stink bugs are flying at me. They're trying to get a piece of this action. And, you know, I understand. I'm famous on the internet. A lot of people want to get a lot of attention from me. I'm a very popular man. I'm very in demand. All right? But these stink bugs, I'm not having any of them. So I got another level up there, too. Smack one enemy senseless with a red-hot frying pan. You got it with the flambe. There we go. Uh, learning the booby trap. Place a trap before you to interrupt and counter an enemy attack. You got it. All right. Now take that bonus XP. So I also believe that there's... So level 7 is like a high level. Oh, I'm definitely going up. Why wouldn't I... Why wouldn't I do that? Um, there obviously could be some other treasure around here that I'm not aware of. But, you know, why not go for it? Uh, scare. Because scaring you gets rid of the hiccups. Hey, it stopped. There you go. Nice. Uh, allegedly that works. I don't know if that works, by the way. Um, I don't like being scared. Um, I, I've encountered enough scary things in my life already. Uh, facing off against the cloud. I faced off against many scary things in my life, like getting a letter from the IRS in the mail. I don't need to be scared anymore in my life. I'm good. So... In terms of stopping the hiccups, you hold your breath for like 10 seconds, I think, that get that gets rid of hiccups. I'm not saying you should hold your breath and like, you know, not breathe, because that would be like, you know, not cool, right? Breathing is great. Being alive is awesome. But, you know, in my in my experience, holding your breath, that that gets rid of hiccups. So in case in case you're ever in a situation there, uh, that's how you get that done. So, there you go. Red stopped crying, cooking up some home cooking there. And I guess I, I used it on... Oh, Mr. Mario, that's good. Excellent. Those banshees do some damage, dude. They do some big damage. And I got a new skill for the booby trap, of course, like I said before. This will keep us safe. I'm literally doing nothing. It, is there any way for me to actually control what's going on? I don't think there is, actually. I think all of it is just auto-battling and that's it. Which is fine, I guess. Zap an enemy with lightning also is enemies... Uh, hits enemies on the other side with the magic. Oh boy, we'll go with this. Nope, I meant to use that on Leo because Leo got the... He's close to level 4 there. We're so close to uh, being all leveled up together. And there was no treasure there, dude. You got mail. It is I, the mayor. I'm cold. Brrr. My hands are shaking, so that is that. Alright, well I have four outing tickets. So I can go on four vacations in time for me to save the world and all that. That's good. All right. So I got some gold here. Um, I feel like I want to get an upgrade. I guess I'm going with the flower power rose. <laughs> I don't know. The frilly uniform. Hey, man. It's 2021. Whatever you want to do, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? Uh, you just gotta meow it out. All right. No, I'll, I'll roll with it. Hey, I'm not above wearing the, uh, the frilly, flowery, whatever. It's all good, man. Just gotta meow it out, all right? 
Leo's gonna grab this. And wait, does that... S what? This stops time? You can stop the game by pressing X at any given time. That's incredible. Wow. So sometimes it'll stop the audio, sometimes it won't, but you can stop the game at almost any point on any menu, on anything. Wow, all right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's try this for you because you're a magic-based character. Yep, okay, that did a little bit there. Uh, cotton candy for you. That did it, made it more delicious. I know that you like this. There we go. I'll go with this for you. You like it, nice. Uh, you don't like it. I'm, I'm just gonna use them up. I don't think I need to have, I don't, I don't think I need to keep them on me. Oh, you definitely don't like that one, all right. Um, probably could have figured that one out, but oh well. I don't see a reason to save them, but okay. Outings, cafe. Uh, you two can go to the cafe, that's fine, right? Yeah, it's just designated to a whole room. Let's chill at the cafe. Are you upset? Listening? That's not a, 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 a response to are you upset. It's just listening. That was lovely. Shall we call it a night? Oh. What? We never ordered anything. And there's Guiji just chilling in the background. So I'm also kind of thrown off. Because I don't quite know. Like, I thought you could have a ton of me's in the game. Like, a lot. Like, you could pull in, like, a lot of people. You know, it only seems like there's roles for a couple of people here. So I don't, I don't know, whatever. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna continue and set off. I'm gonna probably do one more adventure here. Maybe another outing or something. I don't know. But I thought you could have like way more team members and like swap people out. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just not quite there yet, but that's fine too. Want to try and at least get out of this cave. That would be pretty cool. But you know, we'll see. The journey continues. Let's get down to business. I don't got no time to mess around. What is this? Gonna open it, of course. Why wouldn't I open it? Um, that is a reference to an Eminem song that you should not know because it is not family friendly. Therefore, I cannot technically endorse it. Open the chest. Didn't I buy that? Uh. Oh, all right. Um, sure. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't think I bought that actually. That's good. And I think you can get doubles of things and sell them off, so that's fine. Oh, there was literally just nothing in there. All right, well, well, there's that. We're gonna set off. Nope, we're gonna set off again. Back into the into the fray here. Uh, I saw that there was also an option for a cinema down there. That's very exciting. Um, I'm gonna go over toward the right side instead, so I can get out of this cave. That's good. And they kind of show you where you're at too. That's nice. And I'm just marching on through. There's nothing... Oh, never mind. I was going to say there's nothing stopping my way, but I was clearly wrong. This Banshee A, B, and C. I should probably move like a little... Should I move a little bit more? I feel like I should. Just a little bit. While this is all going on, I'm not even going to pay attention to what's happening here. I'm just going to move... Yeah, right there. Let's move myself right there. Get a little bit of fl... Ooh, flambe. Ooh, that's a flam hay. Okay. They're doing... Wow, they're doing some damage. Okay. There's one. That's the spot. That's the ticket. Fire. Ooh. Mr. Mario, heal. There we go. Get all nice and healed there. Yeah, I was probably a, a little bit too high here. Ah. Uh, maybe sort of likes. What is this dynamic here? I don't like Mr. Mario that way. It may be my favorite video game of all time. I'm not liking you like that. This isn't how this goes. Oh, oh, you're a little bit, oh, energetic. Uh, levels it up by one or like revives him a little bit. A smidge there, that's good. Oh, and I should move my, my face a little bit here. Figuring out the camera placement for these playthroughs is always a massive pain. All right, you are gonna get this because you missed out on it last time. Good, excellent, all right. So now I'm gonna go toward the right-hand side because I went the other way last time. There we go. So that's good. So uh, uh, tomorrow, I'm actually going to be working on a Lego set, which... Wait, what? You have a war cry that you use in battle? Of course. Do tell. Give a, a war cry? 
A war cry? Okay. That's gonna be the war cry. Yay! Yay! Not bad. Why do I do that poll? Does this game think I'm a woman? Or a guy? I don't... I don't know. That's not how I act in real life. I'm not like... Not quite me. But alright. What on earth is that attack? Alright. And what on earth are these things? They're little, uh... Itty bitty jellies here. <laughs> what is that move? What? It, well, what is this move? It's just like, like, like a shimmy back, like shing. Just that's that's me avoiding all all the drama in high school, right there. Just me me chilling, pivoting back. That's all it is. The first assist. Praise. You did it, bro. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this. I don't, I don't, what, hold on, hold on. What is this? What is happening? Why do I look like this? I'm going to investigate after this episode. This is not reflective of who I am. I don't, I don't do this action in real life. I'm not in the kitchen. I'm not in the kitchen doing this. All right. That's not, that's not how I operate. That's not, that's not, that, this is not me. This is not how things roll. All right. <laughs> All right. I, I've seen Abdallah Smash do his playthrough, and he, he's also a chef. And I didn't see his character acting like that. I, 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 well, I don't know, whatever. Um, I'll see if I can investigate it and just, it, just be, that might happen to you. You might be like, well, why is my character, I don't know, whatever. It's fine. It makes it a little comedic in that sense but I, I assure you if you ever meet me in real life I will not I will not be doing like this with a frying pan when I meet you that is not how not how things go um, maybe I'll start crying like red is right there for whatever reason an undetermined reason but you know and I'm actually close to 50 enemies us uh, uh, defeated there 50 enemies or rescued rather 50 rescues that's nice I don't know how many you're supposed to have by the end of the playthrough but that's good by me. Uh, all at level five here. Excellent. And I thought it said I had 1,040 gold. That would have been pretty cool, but that's beside the point. There's something shiny on the ground. It's a banana in a cave. Okay. Sure. All right. And there's our 15th in for the, uh, for the game here. A warrior in the party has reached level five. I think a lot of us have. Yeah, actually, we're all level five. Look at that. Beautiful. So that's great. And that's developing that even more. And now, that's it for now, right? And it saves and quits. Okay. I guess that's the end of the episode. I'll see you again for more Metopia in the near future. I'll investigate why, why I'm acting very flamboyant in this game. And I'll let you know how that goes, all right? Bye.